I've recently bought a piece of equipment that uses that input size of uh, plug. However, I didn't have uh, the correct voltage and capacity power supply to do it, so I found I found one with the correct voltages and capable of doing it, but it had where is it? It had the wrong plug on the end, one of those little ones. So I cut that off, and I found this, and I'm going to solder this one onto the leads of this. And on this particular piece of equipment, this outer is positive. So I've checked which is positive and which is negative coming out of here. And um, I shall just simply solder this one onto that lead. A neat way of uh, doing this is to cut the lead, pop on a piece of heat shrink, or half inch or so, down the line, and then solder the two together and bring the heat sink back and it's a nice neat way of doing it. An alternative if you've got this plug but the polarity is, is um, opposite is to change the wires inside the equipment. It's not easy on this occasion so I'm going to cut and use as cut and use the, um, the lead as you can see. You can get little um, things that hold leads second pair of hands but uh, I simply use a piece of wood with a couple of clothes pegs just glue them on like so and you'll find it's invaluable for holding a wire and lining up the other one don't forget to put your heat sink on first of course <laughs> lining up the other one so it just overlaps and then you can proceed to solder the two together makes a very neat and handy and just a couple of clothes pegs and a piece of wood spend a couple of minutes making one Okay, I've soldered my leads and as a double check, positive on the outside, we've got the correct voltage and we've got the uh, correct polarity. And uh, using heat shrink, where is it? I think the two joints is quite neat. I don't know what sort of soldering iron you may, if you're not used to a lot of soldering iron, you can use electric one. Uh, transformer type, but in the field these gas things are quite handy. They use butane and they heat up a little catalytic element in here and uh, for small arrangements, you know, they're fine for um, small soldering jobs, but uh, do be aware that they all exhaust gas and on this one it's it's just there, the end of my little finger. So hot fumes come out of there, so you can use that to heat up the heat shrink tubing. But a lot of people forget about that, and if you're in uh, some delicate circuit somewhere, you can easily uh, scorch a plastic case or uh, destroy some electrical component. That's the downside of these things. So uh, bear that in mind, because you won't be the first one to cook something you shouldn't have done. Ha ha ha!